of you were at Vacation Bible School last year, show me, not with your voice, but with your hand, if you were with us, whether you're a leader or a kid. Okay, put your hands down. Very good. That was a lot of you. Well, last year at this time, shh, boys and girls, shh, thank you, we learned that a good friend of ours had been hurt. Do you remember? We prayed for her. Her name was Miss Maggie. And she's usually a Vacation Bible School leader. And her mom and her dad and her brother are usually Vacation Bible School leaders. Do you remember that? Yeah. She was injured very badly, and we prayed for her, didn't we? Well, it's been a really hard, long year. Let's just refresh our memories, because we made a video and we sent it to Maggie. Let's, it won't be the best quality on the screen, but you can hear our prayer. And Maggie had a very terrible accident two weeks ago. She was running, and believe it or not, a bus hit her while she was running. And so Maggie is in the hospital. And Maggie has gone from not being able to wake up to waking up, and she's getting stronger and better all the time, every single day. But you know what I thought she could use? I thought she could use a blessing from Vacation Bible School, us, because, you know, when you're not feeling good, you really need all the encouragement you can get. So I thought we'd give she and her family a little bit of encouragement. Usually Miss Wendy is down in our nursery area, in our child care area, and she's working with the kids down there. And Maggie is a crew leader, and her dad is a crew leader, and Peter, her brother, is a crew leader. So here's a picture of Miss Maggie, and she is beautiful. And she's getting stronger and stronger. But I thought we'd pray for her tonight, okay? Will you pray with me? Find those praying hands. Here we go. One. Two, three, pray. Father, thanks for bringing us back together at Vacation Bible School. It's our fourth and final day. We've had a blast. And there's more fun to come today. But Father, we dedicate this last night of Vacation Bible School to Miss Maggie. Father, we pray that even though we don't understand why this happens, we know that Jesus loves Maggie, and he, and he loves her mom, and her dad, and her brother Peter. And he's with them right now. So God, we just ask that the Holy Spirit would just come into Maggie's hotel room, and just, or her hospital room, I'm sorry, and just give her so much strength, and so much hope, and so much encouragement. We pray, Father, that Maggie will justify all odds and she will grow stronger and stronger and stronger. We pray for her mom and dad and her brother that they would be strong for her as well and they would lean into you and trust you for all good things. And we thank you, Father, for the way you're healing Maggie. You are showing yourself mighty right now. And we ask that you would continue until she's totally healed. We ask it in Jesus' name. And all God's children said... That was you praying for a friend who needed help, who needed God's healing and help. Way to go to be a part of that process. But it's been a really tough year, and we don't always understand why things happen the way they do. We don't understand why Maggie had that terrible accident. And we might not ever know this side of heaven why certain things happen. But I just wanted to give you an update because it's been about a year. So I thought I would tell you a little bit about how Maggie's doing. But why should I tell you? Let's let Maggie tell you. Oh, that is so awesome. Everything is awesome. That's right. Maggie, we are so glad you're here. Oh, we love you so much, and we're so grateful to see you up and running. She's back and running, clearly. Well, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Like, your prayers really worked. So I'm, oh. I feel awesome. Oh, wonderful. Yay. Well, you, you probably learned a lot of lessons about what it means to really lean into God's provision, right? Yes, um... Well, the biggest thing that I learned is that you can trust all of God's promises. Um, and God is so faithful in so many ways. 
And this was just another wonderful way that I saw that God was faithful through this whole thing. Nice. You were one sick girl, weren't you? Yeah, I was. You, I mean, she got hit by a bus, friends. She was hit by a giant bus that you see on the streets. And it's amazing that she's standing here. You had some pretty uh, powerful prayers on your side, um, yes. not the least of which, the most important really, are, it was your family, yeah. right? Yeah. Let's bring Maggie's parents out, Miss Wendy and Mr. Tad. Let's give them a big welcome. Miss Wendy's got her shirt on because she's part of our VBS this year. She's a crew leader. Where's Miss Wendy's crew? Shout it out. No, Aren't you? Oh, you're not? Oh, I thought you were. Are you a floater? No. You've been here all week. I'm downstairs. Oh, you're down with the little the ones. She, she's so great. She teaches songs to the babies. Oh, it's so sweet. So we're really grateful that you're here. And, and what a witness to God's goodness to your family. We just love to hear a little bit of your story and how you felt God worked throughout this last year? Well, as Denise mentioned, Maggie was hit by a bus while she was studying in Spain last summer. She had only been there 10 days when the accident happened and Tad and I got the phone call that she was lying in the hospital. So we quickly went over there and we spent three weeks with her while she was in the hospital in Spain and then she was finally medevaced home and she spent another three plus weeks here in the hospital, in two hospitals here in the Twin Cities. Um, she suffered pelvic trauma, meaning she had broken hips, she had broken ribs, um, thankfully she had no internal injuries, but her biggest challenge was head trauma. She hit her head in two places, one were on the bus and one on the pavement, and that takes a really, really long time to heal. So she's about 95% recovered, praise God, and um, they expect her to make 100% recovery. Oh, wow. Let me, ask, let me ask a really hard question. There was a very good chance that Maggie wouldn't be fully healed the way we see her now. How did you deal with that? I mean, with that possibility, as you thought about her mom and dad, life without her or life not the way she was before the accident, how did that make you feel in your faith? Tad, could you speak to that? Yeah, it was when we got over to Spain, which is 5,000 miles away. <laughs> so we were across the other side of the ocean and we didn't know if Maggie would make it or not. And we just had to trust God and we had to pray that he would take care of her. And all of your prayers meant so much to us. It was so neat to see 800 of you kids <laughs> praying for Maggie. And that just meant so much to us and God answered that prayer. But we didn't know how Maggie was going to, if she was going to live, or if she did, what it would be like when she, when she recovered. So we just had to trust and have faith that God would take care of her and watch over her, and he did. He did for sure. Well, we are so grateful that he did, and we're so very thankful that you were able to come tonight, share your powerful story with all of us in a week where we're talking about how God's mighty power is enough to help us to overcome any challenge that we can have. So thank you for being here. We have a little gift, a little BBS gift Miss Terry's going to bring out because you didn't get to be with us last year and we missed you a lot. So for this year, we thought you needed your own BBS shirt. So you're an official honorary member of the climbing crew of Vacation Bible School. Mr. Tad, we've got one for you and Miss Wendy, and we've got one for Peter. Okay. So let's, let's pray for Maggie and her family uh, before she heads out. But thank you again for being here. Heavenly Father, we are amazed and in awe of who you are and what you are able to do. Maggie is living proof that you are faithful to give us all of your promises and to fulfill those promises. Father, we know that Maggie is a testament to your faithfulness and your greatness. We give you the honor and the glory for her life and for what you are going to do in and through her forevermore. We are grateful she belongs to you and that she is here with us to share her story. We love you and give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks, you guys, for being here.